Long ago, in the time of Genesis, there lived a man named Abraham, who was originally called Abram. Abraham's the name? Abraham lived in the town of Ur with his wife Sarah. Hi there, honey. Abraham and Sarah loved each other very much, and they loved their family too. But they never had a child, but that's what they wanted more than anything else in the world. And then, one night, God spoke to Abraham. He told him to leave his country for a land that he would show him. Because one day, he and Sarah were going to have a child. And he promised Abraham that one day his children and his children's children would be a great nation. I won't let you down, God. So Abe and Sarah obeyed God, leaving their home of Ur immediately, and they took along Abe's nephew, Lot. After a few days, they arrived in Canaan. Life was good there, but no children yet. Then, a famine hit, so then they moved to Egypt. And though they didn't have their own home and no child yet, they were waiting as patiently as they could because they knew God would keep his promise. Years later, Abraham had to say goodbye to Lot because he had let Lot choose his own land for him and his sheep because there was too little room for him and Abe's sheep. It was a sad day for Abe, but that night, God spoke to him again and made him a new promise. He promised Abe that all of the land would be his. Wow. And that his descendants would outnumber the sand. Years later, when Abraham turned 100, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. We shall call him Isaac. Hello, Isaac. And that's the story of Abraham and Sarah, a couple who waited patiently on God to keep his promise, and he did. And remember this, kids, if you have trouble being patient, think about how long Abraham and Sarah had to wait for their child.